And these are let, me, let me just tell you this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have been up front always. Okay. With one thought in mind, promoting verbal. And we have succeeded partially in that. Okay. Mayor, what I'm saying is I'm disclosing the law to you on whether a corporation that you belong to, a company you belong to, or a personal interest that you belong to outside of the city government can be involved in the purchase of property or property for the city and what the interest is in the interest for the corporation or company and not you solely. I, I'm just providing you the law. And I appreciate the law. I, I, uh, I appreciate the law and I'll advise the council and the mayor on the law. However, you've been talking for five minutes and I haven't yeah, heard any conflict <laughs> of interest or shared a conflict of interest. You know what? Been and you know interest. why that is, Bob? I'm not going to practice law. I'm not going to point out to you that there's a conflict of interest. That would be telling you that you're doing something wrong. That would cross the line and be practicing law. Is what? I'm is pointing out and giving you what the law is in regards to his interest. Once again, he's read the law and I just gave it to me. There it is there, and here, I don't think you have this, but this is 563. And you know what, since you said you haven't heard a conflict of interest mm -hmm. in our 253, I guess maybe under the federal law, and according to the Missouri Bar Association, I really can represent this cause now since you said you haven't heard that. And since you're allowing me to speak at a council meeting outside the courtroom, I guess I can represent his interest. Now you've allowed me to do that. Thank you. And I'll give you chapter 563. He's the president of a nonprofit corporation that purchased property that was offered to the city according to a memo I have seen. And I'll give you the federal law to follow that to a T. And the state law according to the Bar Association, the Missouri Bar Association, governing my practice or what I do. I've got that too. I can give you that too. I don't need that. He, okay. He is the president of a corporation who's acquired property. According to this memo here, this was not a public memo. It was given to the city. And it showed by the Missouri Department of Transportation that they were trying to sell the property to the city. However, the nonprofit corporation that he's the president of and founded acquired the property instead of the city. That might be under 562. It might be the misuse of information <coughs> that's not disclosed to the public that was given to the city and could possibly be a class of misdemeanor with very severe imprisonment. So since you've brought this forward, let's talk about it. I haven't brought anything forward. I'm you said that you haven't heard a conflict of interest. You've allowed me to talk in this hearing for him. So let's talk about it. He Donna, is you have taken up enough time. Okay. If you don't go in this hearing and say it very quickly, I am going to order the chief to I just walk towards the end out. I brought you to a hearing. You're going to order the chief to order me out. All you have to do, Mayor, is say, Don, your time's up. Your now, time don't is let up. you say something Your like time that. is up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Concerning his 